Do you want to take control of your financial future? Welcome to Fitness Fanatics, where we make finance fit for everyone. Picture personal finance as a journey, a marathon, not a sprint. It's about understanding money, how it works, how to earn it, manage it, invest it, and safeguard it. It's about gaining the knowledge to make informed decisions, empowering you to shape your financial destiny, not leaving it to chance. Understanding personal finance is not rocket science. It's a skill you can master. To take control of your finances, you first need to understand the art of budgeting. Budgeting is not just about restraining your spending. It's about understanding your income and expenses and making conscious decisions about where your money goes. Imagine your budget as a roadmap, guiding you towards your financial goals. It's what keeps you on track, prevents you from overspending, and helps you allocate funds for both your current needs and your future aspirations. Now there are different types of budgeting methods that cater to different financial situations and personal preferences. Some of these include the envelope method, zero-based budgeting, or the 50-30-20 rule. We'll delve deeper into these methods in the upcoming videos, but for now, remember that the choice of method is less important than the practice of budgeting itself. Remember, a good budget is the first step towards financial freedom. Once you've got your budget sorted, it's time to focus on saving and investing. Saving money is like building a safety net. It's essential for emergencies and unexpected expenses. Imagine your car breaks down or you lose your job. In times like these, a savings account can be a lifesaver. But saving isn't just for emergencies. It's also crucial for achieving your future financial goals. Want to buy a house, start a business, go on a dream vacation? Saving up can make these dreams a reality. Now let's talk about investing. While saving is more about preservation, investing is about growth. It's a way to increase your wealth over time. When you invest, you're putting your money to work. You could invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate, among other things. The goal is to earn a return on your investment, which can significantly outpace what you'd earn in a typical savings account. That said, it's important to understand that saving and investing serve different purposes and come with different levels of risk. Saving is relatively safe, but offers modest returns. Investing, on the other hand, has the potential for higher returns, but also comes with a greater risk. Remember, saving helps you prepare for emergencies, while investing helps you grow your wealth. Debt might seem daunting, but proper management can turn it into a useful financial tool. Let's start by distinguishing between good debt and bad debt, Good debt is an investment that will grow in value or generate long-term income. Think of student loans or mortgages. On the other hand, bad debt is generally the result of buying things that quickly lose their value and do not generate long-term income. Credit card debt is a classic example of this. Now let's talk about credit scores. This three-digit number can significantly impact your financial future. It can determine whether you can borrow money and at what interest rate. To maintain a healthy credit score, make sure to pay your bills on time, keep your credit balances low, and avoid applying for new credit impulsively. Remember, not all debts are bad, it's all about how you manage them. So, are you ready to take control of your financial future? Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We began with the basics of budgeting, understanding how to track your income and expenses to ensure you're not living beyond your means. Then, we moved on to saving and investing, discussing the importance of setting aside a portion of your income for future needs and the various ways you can grow your wealth over time. Lastly, we tackled the issue of debt management, providing strategies to pay off debts efficiently and avoid falling into the debt trap in the future. Now the ball is in your court. It's time to take these lessons and start implementing them in your life. Start small, be consistent, and you'll see a significant improvement in your financial health over time. That's all for today on Fitness Fanatics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more finance fitness tips. Remember, your financial future is in your hands.